Good morning, traders. So let's uh, get cracking with the Dow. Now, the Dow Jones has um, it's starting to show its uh, true colors at the moment of, of uh, what, what to be expected. And I just want to get this level in here because this was pretty much um, what happened yesterday. So you can see the the pin bar that we had last week, uh, there was continuation on that. So there has been continuation. So the week is still early, but we definitely did continue to the upside, which is a positive sign um, as far as I'm concerned. And if we look at the daily, you'll see this downward trend line is pretty much where profit taking happened. Okay. Now, I suppose yesterday the the entry onto the Dow trade was pretty much early in the morning because there's nothing really happened after the open um, except uh, if you try to get into the trade there you'd just be frustrated. So at this stage I'm still playing, uh, I still reckon that these inside bars here are in play. So you can see if I draw a block around those three daily bars there, they all fit inside each other and they all fit inside this red bar here. And we have broken that. Okay. So you would expect the first target is going to be up there. Okay. That's your first target. So that's kind of um, the, the play that I'm playing and uh, nothing's going to change that uh, unless we fall below this level here. If we fall below this level here, then obviously you're looking at the 200 day EMA as the target. Okay, so let me get rid of that, get rid of that and let's just get down to the 4 hour. Okay, now that um, we, we've got three daily inside bars, you can see we have also formed a, a Bollinger W reversal pattern. Okay, outside the Bollinger, inside the Bollinger, broken through the top here. Okay, so in saying that, the area that we're looking to be long uh, for this one is obviously the top of this um, top here. So we're looking for a pullback into this area to order to get long and we are looking to target that area there. So if we do get a pullback this far, that's a 400 point trade. Okay, so that's kind of um, kind of the, the, the play that I'm looking at at this stage. And um, there's nothing that concerns me that I'm wrong at this stage. Uh, this downward trend line is obviously going to give us some resistance and you can see it did last night. So let's just get down to the hour and you can see how we how we battled. I mean it was a it was a battle of notes to, to get going. So this is pretty much the only move uh, once the market opened and then we battled. I suppose the warning was pretty much here. You could see how the, the sellers was, were trying to push it down here then we had this exhaustion bar and they couldn't take it further and it drifted off. But we had moved up uh, quite dramatically from uh, Thursday pretty much. So there's been a, a long solid run and we now need some consolidation. So I would expect consolidation either purely sideways or sideways to down in this area. If we do hit this area, definitely an area to watch to see if you can get in long. Okay, so how I would typically do it is I'd set an alert here. So basically, um, I would set an alert right over here, just above it, okay? Uh, it's about that much above it. And uh, when price is great, then or equal to that line. Okay, so that's kind of how, how I would do it. And then I'd work on to the rest of my other charts and wait for that alert to be triggered. When the alert gets triggered, you just come and look at it and watch it on a lower time frame to see how your where your entry is going to be. Okay, 
So you can see everything is squeezing at the moment. So Bollinger squeezes uh, on the DAX and the Dow at the moment. And um, that's purely because Asia, where are we? So Singapore's up slightly, Japan is down slightly, uh, China is up slightly. So pretty much mixed bag and uh, I'll call it flat. Hong Kong's up slightly. So and that's because 10 cents up uh, another 0.8 percent and running. So everything's flat at this stage, and uh, I would uh, I'm still expecting us to sort of test this this break before moving higher. Okay, so that is my play. It's long. I'm just waiting for a a decent entry to get in, and it's a long that I want to hold for the week because I suspect that we are going to run for have a positive week. And maybe string more than uh, one day together of, of positiveness. So, you know, we started the week pretty well. So you see we've had all these green bars from Thursday. So Thursday and Friday. Uh, Monday we even had a, a green bar, but pretty much at the, at the open we kind of went nowhere, went sideways. So go, come down and sideways more hit this level and that is the area that I'm looking for long so I'm looking for long yeah if we do break below let's just get on the hour or you want to try and keep your so your your stop is going to be pretty much um, I would start with a stop below this area here okay I'd rather take a small loss here if it does move to the downside and, and consolidate and move up then you just get back in here and you'll make that loss back plus extra. Okay, so you want to try keep those stops close. So if you can get into this area here, um, well, that's not even a stop, close stop. It's 140 points. But that's pretty much what I'm I'm looking at today. Is uh, definitely looking for upside, but we're going to look for it from a, a point of uh, support, which is going to be the closest areas here. Okay. That's my play. Uh, hope it helps. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, give us a thumbs up, thumbs down if you don't like it. Um, even better, just drop us a comment. I uh, love to interact with you guys. Anyway, catch you guys later. Enjoy the day. Cheers, man.